Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at JAWS Podiatry. I'm going to go ahead and present a case today. We have a young patient who has traveled from Texas seeking solutions for unsightly lesions, corns, calluses. Okay. Um, corn removal surgery. A lot of people come here for corn removal surgery seeking solutions, primarily aesthetic solutions to these pesky, raunchy little corns lesions, right? Um, let's start off by talking about what not to do. I, for the people that have seen our previous videos, I always talk about uh, making sure that the over-the-counter, for the people that decide or pursue over-the-counter remedies, big no-no. The over-the-counter remedies are essentially, a, again, it's a salicylic acid prep, preparation, very caustic, toxic to the skin. It's essentially a burn. That's what happens. And this patient about 10 years ago decided to do same. And this is exactly what we see here. Okay, um, you know, the, the third, the fourth toes, they're already marked by the way, but they're hypopigmented. The hypopigmentation is a result of the over-the-counter remedy. So for all the people out there, you know, choosing to possibly use these remedies, beware. Disclaimer, right? Be very, very careful. Now, um, also a lot of people that come here, they're they're sort of not happy with the hyperpigmentation, in this case, the big toe, okay? You know, right around there. And um, that could be a result of not only genetics, background, ethnicity, but also micro trauma, in this case, improper shoe gear. Irritation pressure can subsequently lead to this. And again, you know, the same thing on the right, okay? So what we're gonna go ahead and do today here in our office based surgical suite under local anesthesia, patient will be awake. Patient will walk in and we'll walk out. Not only we'll walk out, we'll walk out and jump on an Uber to go back to the airport, to go back to Houston. So the patient has flown in this morning. We'll be flying out later this afternoon. So uh, in respect to the right, we already marked the big toe. And now we're gonna go ahead and mark um, not only the, uh, the fourth, but also the, the pinky, okay? And um, you know, uh, I, I really like to, you know, it's easy for us to post before and after pictures, which is great, but there's something called Photoshop, right? I'm, I'm completely and totally anti-Photoshopping, number one. Number two, I like to show the, the what happens in between the before and after, and this is the reason why I like to put out these videos. Um, Dr. Widener, what, what's that little amount of blood there? The The... This is local anesthesia. This is not regional or what they call sedation, right? IV sedation. We have already, you know, anesthetized the toes, okay? So if anyone is wondering those little dots, local anesthesia. Okay, everyone, so we're essentially done here. Um, just to kind of go over the procedures, um, excision of unsightly lesion, left great toe third and the fourth and again what we essentially what we essentially do for these procedures under local anesthesia here in our office based surgical suite um, we excise them we still haven't figured out a way to excise these lesions through a minimally invasive keyhole incision it's gonna be very difficult I'm definitely thinking about it though with respect to the the right foot same thing the big toe also the the fourth toe and of course the pinky so you know um a lot of people battle these um these unsightly lesions and we're essentially here to help the crowd right to help the community for people that have tried over-the-counter remedies or not um you know the the only way to really to really get rid or improve the appearance is the surgical excision of these lesions. Sure, conservatively speaking, you know, um, we make those recommendations to patients. You know, you may wanna try this, uh, change your shoe gear, um, accommodate, but historically speaking, when patients arrive here, they have already tried all of the above. Specifically, the over-the-counter remedies, which simply makes everything catastrophically worse. 
And that's essentially, you know, what we're here to provide. For the people that have gone through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and they have found no relief, the next step would be surgical excision. So again, I will continue to put out these videos, um, you know, at the core, Giles Podiatry, what we do is education. We're here to educate the world that these clinical presentations do exist. Of course, subsequent treatments. And again, you know, um, at 12 days, um, all of these, uh, 12, 12, you know, 14 days, all those suture stitches will be removed. Patient will go back to uh, Houston tonight, flew in this morning. We'll be flying out the, uh, later today. And uh, we will see the patient via virtual teleconsultations once a week. If you guys have any questions uh, pertaining to this video, please ask away. As always, thank you for watching.